Betsy, we're all gonna miss you, goodbye. I know you're gonna have fun, but it's gonna be a real loss for us. So goodbye, Betsy. Hi, Betsy. It's amazing that we've gotten to this point. It's been 36 years since I met you and as the, the woman faculty member who could tell me what it was like to be at Lehigh in 1981. Uh, and here you are completing that career and I'm getting close to follow you. You have been a leader and you have made life at Lehigh so much better for so many women, including myself. And I'm very grateful to you for that. I love you. You're a wonderful person. And I hope to see you in retirement and that you are having a wonderful, wonderful time. Thank you. Hey, Betsy, you were the last of the first four, and uh, the department wouldn't be the same without you. Thank you so much for everything you've done over the years. We will do our best to honor um, the spirit of enthusiasm and joy that, that you brought to our department, to our students, and to our faculty. Happy retirement. Betsy, I treasure your intellectual curiosity, your enthusiasm for our students, and most of all, your warmth and generosity. Thank you for your mentorship and support these last seven years. I am so grateful to be able to call you my friend, and I'm looking forward to many wonderful lunches in the years to come. Betsy Pfeiffer, one thing I've always known about our department it is, is that as long as we had you as its heart and soul, everything would be okay and now you're leaving but i believe that the impression that you've made on all of us will last and keep the department the kind of department you've always made it loving and open and smart and funny so we love you and we'll miss you but go enjoy your retirement and thank you betsy congratulations on your retirement and on a brilliant trailblazing career at lehigh um, you're an innovative and inspiring teacher. You're going to be missed so much. Um, a trusted and generous friend. Thank you for everything. Hi, Betsy. Um, I'm sure everyone else is saying this too. Um, I wouldn't be where I am without you, and I can't express how much I appreciate that, how fantastic your career has been, how much you've inspired so many people, how you've shown me um, that priorities are important when it comes to academics and scholarship and how scholarship should mean something. And I wouldn't have my PhD without you. So thank you. And that's all I have to say. I love you. Thank you. Betsy, I'm so happy that we're able to celebrate you and all your work at Lehigh and your retirement today. Um, I just wanted to say that, um, you know, I first met you not at Lehigh, but I met you in the pages of your research. I was a graduate student, um, I was studying Stein, and I felt something in her work, a queerness in her work, and I went looking for researchers who also felt that and who could help me articulate what Stein was doing. I think I read uh, rescued readings, your book, and it may have been an article about Stein, um, but I encountered there this beautiful uh, research that spoke to me about how Stein herself uh, queers marriage um, and how she calls us to reimagine what is possible for women in terms of intimacy and sexuality. You were a queer academic mother for me before I met you in the flesh. Uh, when I got to Lehigh and I was actually able to meet you, I felt so grateful that you were generous, you were kind, um, you really took the time to talk to me about my scholarship and my teaching. Um, I really saw you and see you as a mentor here at Lehigh. Um, also for your students, your graduate students and your undergraduate students, I have been so grateful to witness you, a master teacher, um, and really to try and model myself after the incredible work um, that, that you really perform in the classroom. You cannot drive to a campus in the Lehigh Valley and not find a faculty member, um, at least one faculty member, who has worked with you as a graduate student and gone on to impact um, undergraduates in their own right in universities in the Lehigh Valley. Uh, thank you so much, Betsy, for your generosity and kindness at Lehigh. It has been a privilege and honor. I'm so lucky to have been able to work with you at Lehigh. Thank you. 
Betsy, I want to take this opportunity to remind you of a conversation we had many years ago when I first arrived at Lehigh. Uh, there had been a recommendation that Lehigh ought to have a writing cross curriculum program, and shortly after we met, you uh, brought me on board to try to make sure that this happened at Lehigh. You mobilized a lot of faculty and the administration to try to provide funding and, and administrative support for this. And I just want you, uh, you we all know the, where that's gone over the years in terms of the work that Greg Scutches is doing and writing across the curriculum, and this has blossomed in so many ways. And I think it's cycled back around to a lot of the work you've done in terms of composition and creation. And I think it grew out of a deep compassion you have for your students and an ability to work so closely together with all your colleagues. And for that, I just wanted to thank you. You know, Betsy, I was trying to think when I met you for the first time, and for the life of me, I can't. I just simply can't remember. But I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think it's that you are sort of omnipresent to me, that you've always been around with your support and, and care for people and real genuine guidance. And for that, I appreciate it. I love you, Betsy. Betsy, congratulations on your retirement. It's been 30-some years we've worked together. I remember when uh, multimedia in the classroom was just a glimmer in our eyes. Congratulations. Betsy, uh, you were so incredibly kind to me over the years. Uh, it was a real pleasure working with you in your video classes. And you were a true pioneer at Lehigh, uh, incorporating technology into the classroom. The thing that sticks out to me is your willingness to incorporate uh, technology into your classes, but more so really your kindness and the appreciation that you've shown to all of us during your time here. Congratulations. Congratulations. I wish you the absolute best. Betsy, like everyone else in our department, I want to thank you for all that you have done for us. I want to thank you for your extraordinary kindness and generosity toward me and toward all our colleagues. I want to thank you for keeping Africana studies afloat during all those years when there wasn't university support for it. I want to thank you for your extraordinary mentorship of our graduate students and for the deep pleasure I've had in collaborating with you on that work. I very much look forward to years ahead in which I hope we'll keep in touch and that we'll have opportunities for new collaborations and I wish you and Ken joy in the years ahead. Hi, Bets. Um, I've been told I have 30 seconds to, to give my message, but I can't possibly say everything I want to in 30 seconds, so I'm going to read, hoping I get more in. And by the way, I think this is such a cute idea because, after all, you are the queen of digital storytelling. Well, Betsy, um, what you've done for students is legendary. I personally escorted more than I can count to your office because they were floundering and needed individual help, which you always provided. Remember our international students? They arrived being fearful to even speak out loud. But you knew how to draw them out and give them independent work, and they blossomed and gained the skills and confidence that they needed to make their year an unimagined success. And in planning the monstrous schedule of courses each semester, when I always seemed to need someone to supply a course to round out our offerings or requirements, you were always there to pull the department out of the soup by adjusting your plans and offering a way to solve my current problem. And I have never known anyone to supply so many options for courses. Whenever I asked for suggestions, you always offered four or five, and never were these even repeated the next time around. Your imagination is, was boundless. And students flocked to your courses too. They not only loved your enthusiasm about the material, which also included an intriguing blend with social science, but also loved your wealth of individual encouragement. And Betsy, it's true. You've been everybody's cheerleader. Mine too. Uh, from praising my own graduate work, to finding homes for lost cats, to raising our children and our husbands together. That's a joke, Ken. <laughs> Even my own daughter enjoyed this when we wanted to go, she wanted to go to Japan to teach English for two years. You were the first to give her the support and encouragement that even her own family had yet to extend. And personally, I can add that even on my grimmest days in the office, whenever you walked in, you made the sun come out. I can do this. <laughs> you will leave a terrible hole in the English department fabric, and I will miss you terribly. 
but I'm happy for your relaxing days ahead and in knowing that we will always be the best of friends. Thanks for everything, Betsy.